Hi, I'm Weather First Meteorologist Gary Frank, and I want to talk more about the eclipse as we get very close to this Monday. Will it be cloudy for the eclipse? We've been talking about clouds, and obviously clouds are a big factor in how the, the eclipse is viewed. Of course, it's very cloudy. You're just going to see dark skies. Some people saw that in 2017, but the cloud cover makes a huge difference on what we're going to see, and that's going to be the big story for us. Now, we look at Belleville for an example because, you know, for the last 10 years, uh, you know, you actually have people that observe what's going on, not only just machines, but obviously observers that tell you if it's sunny or cloudy. Now, last year it was fully sunny, and there are a handful of days like 2020, 19, where you could see full sunshine, but obviously 2022, 2018, a little bit more problematic. And then you look at days like 2016 or 15 or 14 and think, would I have been able to see the eclipse? So let's talk about how cloud cover is going to impact us and look at what we expect here in the next 36 to 48 hours. I want to put this in a full screen. Four different models showing cloud cover and some of them more clouds than others. Let's talk about the differences here as we look ahead. First off, you look at the first one and you see plenty of cloud cover. The second model starts to bring in cloud cover from the south, whereas not much going on for the other two or clouds start to increase. So. What do we think is going to happen and what does this mean, right? So we look at this and this is really looking, some of these models don't look at cloud cover very well or they really don't depict what level of the atmosphere the clouds are at. Uh, and so that's what we want to focus on here uh, and talk about this as you prepare for your plans for the eclipse. Because I think what we're going to see is there are thicker clouds with more storms to the south. But we'll start to see some high clouds ahead of that as we start to see that southerly breeze. And surely those storms are going to impact us by the middle of the week. But I think that this is going to line up nicely. And as I pause this at about 2 or 3 o'clock, you'll notice that there are breaks in the clouds just about everywhere. Of course, here in totality, that's going to be the area that we look at more specifically. So what do we think is going to happen? Well, there are varying high thickness levels of some of these high clouds where you look at this and eh, that looks not too bad, right? There are breaks in the clouds, then they are thicker and then even more thick at times. And you look at this is pretty clear, right? We've had high clouds like this where uh, those ice crystals 15, 20, 30,000 feet in the air and you see them often as they line up with some of those contrails from the airplanes. But then you also look at much thicker conditions where if they're this thick with enough moisture that far above the surface, you're going to have a hard time seeing that total eclipse. So regardless of what happens, I do think that we're going to see those high clouds settle in. We'll have to see where that lines up specifically with your area, but just plan on cloud cover around. This is not going to be a fully sunny day, but I think many of you are going to enjoy this total solar eclipse regardless as temperatures are close to 80. We are going to see those varying levels of thickness of cloud cover and that's something that we'll continue to have updates on as we get closer to the actual day. But regardless, still looks like we're in store for a pretty nice day and it's not going to be an overcast day overall. While there may be some levels of thickness to those high clouds, it still looks like it's going to be an enjoyable event and we'll keep a close eye on even little minor tweaks to the forecast as we get closer to Monday at 2 o'clock.